When I'm human and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna blow my horn till the cows come home and everyone's gonna bow down to me. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? It's Michael Leon Woolley, the voice of Louis the Alligator from the Disney movie The Princess and the Frog, and you're listening to the Magic Our Way podcast with Kevin, Danny, Eli, and Rachel. Jumbo, everyone! Harambe! And welcome to another edition of. The Magic Our Way. Magic Our Way. Magic Our Way. Magic Our Way. The Magic Our Way podcast. They are truly magical and whatnot. Sante Sana, everyone. You're listening to the Magic Army Podcast from New Orleans, Louisiana. And on this show, we invite you to feel the libations. Feel it. Feel it. We are artistic buffs, not artistic cream puffs. <laughs> 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 and this is a show in which every opinion is welcome. MagicArmy.com is where you can find us. This is our first show for 2024, and we are talking about us. How about that? For the first time ever, we have a show dedicated to us. And we're looking at some of the reviews that have that we have received on Apple Podcasts. So we can figure out how to better ourselves. Yes, for the coming what year. What we can do to service you, the listeners. The listeners, that's right. Because y'all matter. Very much so. Mm-hmm. And look, this isn't your typical polished practice Pixie Dust and Disney podcast. That's right, I did say that. We are not in the parks every day. Well, definitely not this past week because the crowds on, between Christmas Day and New Year's have been insane. No. I don't oh know if you've seen those yeah. posts. With all the good times, I know, I know you have, and Genie Plus selling yeah. out. Oh my! And the prices, <gasps> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> selling out, baby. No, no, we don't want to be in the parks right now because we know we're not going to have our best park experience. We wouldn't have our best park experience. We just go ahead and call Rachel. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. Yes, mm-hmm. and she would say not to go there in this time. That's right. I would. <laughs> we did it we did it one time and i was like uh, i don't know if we're gonna do this again <laughs> like it's crazy and then one night this week the system wasn't working at midnight like the you know disney's it system so the whole like what thing, i know it wasn't working and Wait, because we'd be surprised what i really need to <laughs> yeah. work there and because genie plus had been selling out people were trying to get it right at midnight so People woke up at midnight to get Genie Plus. The whole system was down. Um, I was up because I had clients who were looking for the enchanting extras. So like Bibbidi Boppity Boutique, the tours, um, lightsabers and droids. Those things are all you book them at midnight, not 6 a.m. So I was trying to book those things for a client at midnight and the whole system was down and funky and ugh, what a nightmare. Oh, anyway, right. so yeah, my best advice to you this time of year is avoid it if you can. Give those kiddos your Disney trip, but tell them they're going in a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Ooh. Rachel, yeah. you you got more than enough people in here to stay up till midnight. So if you ever need a little help on that, we are more than happy oh, to do it. Well, that's good. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Yeah, it is on those uh, days where I have clients that are booking dining and the enchanting extras the experiences i wake up i have an alarm set for 11 58 i wake up and do it and then i have another alarm set for 5 55 and then 5 59 to make sure i don't miss oh it oh my god dedication so, look at that great wow that is, yeah we're not missing things over here with oh man y'all think it's easy to just go ahead and book all this stuff man there are people out there that know when you need to be on there in order to get the best optimal times yeah experiences everything rachel thank you so much that for everything you awesome. do and look all that to say guys we're just here to drink talk some disney and read all about what you guys think about us that's right because we ride the water like hydro blow up the skies like pyro and all you guys have to do is listen up while we go wow <laughs> is that a haiku i don't know <laughs> i was like to... i don't know how to react to that was that a poem we or go that was just... where you i don't know i hydro listened to, and, uh... i listened to a lot of wow yeah it just oh, thought provoking it made me think for a second so it's like you ride the water like hydro you did yeah blow up the skies like pyro, pyro. all you guys have to do is listen while we listen oh and lion and lion oh with okay, thundera good. and why you go hey, right, yes, yeah and yeah, the yeah. trial of thundercats Ooh. that's right jaga wins well um yeah <laughs> my name is kevin i'm danny <laughs> i'll be lie 
I'm Rachel. And uh, yeah, look, this show is our first show of 2024, and we're recording this actually on the 30th, and I just want to wish Rachel luck in the Robert's household, because you have just went through the gauntlet with the Super Bowl and your fantasy football. We mentioned this last week that you and your husband, actually, we didn't mention this last week, we didn't know, but we know we this didn't week. We didn't know yet. That you two fought it out in the Super Bowl for one of our leagues. I did predict yes. this, though, by the you way. You did. I, I did say, awesome. oh, man, what a Robert Super Bowl would look like. And there we go. Here we have it. Yeah. Yes. And then in the, in the follow-up to that main event, uh, I think me and Chavez y Chavez is uh, in the other in the league. In the other league, yeah. You mm-hmm. and Kirk are going at it, too. Yes. So this is like within a Moican family f- matchup. We will follow. We, 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 we're going to lead up to the main event, which is, which is Robert's Robert's Robert. Robert. That yeah. is That is big time. That's big, because yeah. I think this is the first time for Josh ever exactly. making it to the finals against his own wife. Yeah, that's so. true. Well, it's so cool that all the lovers are going at it th- this weekend. <laughs> Can't nobody love me like Chavez. <laughs> and somewhere Kirk is saying, that's right. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, that's oh. perfect. Yeah, we'll see. So we'll update everybody next week on what happens. But yeah, I'm facing my husband in the Cash League Super Bowl. Ooh. And uh, yeah, we've got it. We got some in-house wagers. We got Ooh. some money on the line. Ooh. It's all good. And uh, I'm excited. Go CD Lamb and the Dallas Cowboys tonight. Oh, God. Oh, it's tonight? It's tonight. Tonight. It's already happening. Josh, it started Thursday, but it continues tonight. Josh, save yourself. Just take your team now. Mr. and Mrs. Smith are going to fight it out. I know. Boom, boom. Get you some, Rachel. Woo-wee. Intense, intense. And look, guys, look, the easiest way to support us is to leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts and or wherever you access our show. Also, be sure to like and subscribe as well as turn on that notifications button so that you never miss an episode of the Magic Army podcast. And look, Happy New Year's, y'all. This is our first episode. We're very excited to bring you all the good stuff this coming year. So enough of our jibber jabber and banter. Let's go check out some of our reviews. And enough of 2023. That's right. We're done. Out. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin. And here we are in guest services, the segment in which we get to service you, the listener. Now, typically on this segment, we like to read emails and stuff that the listeners send or like if if it's social media messages or whatever else. But today, since we're at the very beginning of the year, you're listening to the show. It's going to be the first show for us for 2024. And we also just surpassed 500 shows. We wanted to reflect and kind of see what was going on with the reviews and stuff, what people think. Read through some of the reviews. I don't think we've really ever done a show on like the different reviews, what people think, what the uh, other people that may not be Mill Weekends think about the show. See what people like about what we're doing. See what people don't like about what we're doing. See how we can improve ourselves in 2024 and hopefully help get the listeners that are listening now. If you haven't left a review, it's important to us. So please leave a review. Yeah. And that's the, probably the easiest way you could do to support us. Leave a rating review in Apple Podcasts or wherever you access po- uh, podcasts, whether it be like YouTube or Spotify um pod bean wherever yeah just you let people know that we exist and that there's like an alternative view out there man yeah it really helps keep us relevant Th- these are all the reviews from apple Podcasts. so you know maybe if, as we collect the reviews in other platforms we'll do those uh shows as well but apple Podcasts was the main one that we started off with it's like one of the main podcasting platforms that we that we're on you mm-hmm. know that, it's it's one of the you know they started the whole podcast thing uh, with what they offered. And so that's where we started collecting reviews and whatnot. Now we're not going to read everything. It's too many. Yeah, it's way, 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 way too many. And by the way, the positive far, far, far away is a negative. Just in case anyone's wondering. Yeah. Right. And I, I don't mean to say too many as in, yeah, we don't want any more. No, we, you can never have enough. So no. keep, keep, keep them coming because it does keep us alive in Apple Podcasts directly when you search for Disney Podcasts and stuff just to help people let, let people know. So we, I'm going to start with the negatives because we don't have a lot. So we could just zip through those pretty quickly. Yeah, let's get the negative out of the way. All the negativity gone so we can look forward to the positivity 2024 is going to bring. Exactly. I like that. I like that. And I just want to point out Rachel has an awesome perspective of this because now she's on the show. But before that, long before that, even while these uh, reviews are being posted, she was also a listener, a fellow listener, fellow, part of the Moican Nation. So she has some good insight to take from that point of view. And uh, yeah, let's, what do you say we get to it? All right. So mm-hmm. let's do it. This is the negative reviews that we're starting off with. And of course, in Apple Podcasts, people can pick whatever you know nickname they want. So I'll read those out because some of these are kind of funny. And so I'm going to read those and there, no way divulge who the real person is. But here we go. So this is a, a one-star review. 
Oh, okay. And most of our reviews are either like five stars or one star. There's like no in between. Okay. Like there's extremes with, with these people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't... feel like that's that's just how reviews go. People either love you or hate you. And if they're in the middle, they're not taking the time to do a review. It's like the old Siskel and Ebert, thumbs up or thumbs down kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, very Boolean yeah. of these people. It's either true or false. That's yes. it. <laughs> you know? There's no gray area. So our first one star review is from Rem Racasil. I don't even know how to read that. Rem that sounds like a pharmaceutical thing. Yeah. When you get fungus on your foot, yeah. you put some Rem Rascal in it. I'm about Rem Rascal. Give me some cream. That's right. This person titled their review, Horrible. 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 And the comment is, as a Diz nerd and artist, I expected to love the show. At the 20-minute mark, they still hadn't gotten to the show topic. The zoo animal-like behavior and vocalizations during listener messages was so juvenile that I couldn't hang on to get past it. Mm. Mm. Horrible. You got to appreciate the gravitas of that, right? I was like, I just couldn't hang on. Like he was doing his best to Ugh. stay, but it was just such a strain for him. The vocalization. He just couldn't do it. Behavior. He tried, but he, he just did. couldn't do it because of our zoo animal like behavior. <laughs> Vocalizations. That's the funny part. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out. Did we, did know. we uh, make animal noises on the show? It depends on what episode back then, because we did use a lot of different come into oh, like drops references like bark like a dog stuff oh like that is that. possible oh. yeah but i mean i don't know what it's like to imitate a zebra and i worked at a zoo so i you know i don't even well, know what sound a zebra makes mr. yeah exactly mr or mrs ramram skill uh we took the soundboard out of kevin's hands after the <laughs> incident with the caribbean <laughs> beach show fair. Uh, oh, we'll so, get to that lately <laughs> <laughs> well that person's right whoever yes. wrote that that's that's 100 on the mark <laughs> That's also unfair, though, right? For them to say, as an artist, every artist knows you have to go through some phase of experimentation yeah. to get to whatever style you're supposed to be at. During that time, that was one of those things. We were just playing with every toy we could get our hands on back then. I just want to listen to the show to see what this, like, I don't like, when we were just doing Old McDonald's. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what reference this is to, though. Yeah. Maybe I, yeah. Not, maybe I, I was meowing. I don't know. Eh, could maybe be. I moved that morning and uh, it was a long day. <laughs> yeah. Well, know. once you milk Eli, he's fine. And yes. then it's the mooing <laughs> yes. stops. So I, I haven't been milked in a while. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> Boo. I, I, I need to go. He pays. <laughs> I need to get out of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Despite all the money he pays, he cannot get himself mood. I, yeah. <laughs> Mouse Mingle has not been able to help him out with that. No booing. Rachel, do you remember any zoo animal don't like behavior or vocalizations? No, I no, I don't think so. Mm. I don't know. Nothing like, I about. mean, yeah, not 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 like animal noises, <laughs> but I guess like just <laughs> ran, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes y'all vocalize. You know, we do <laughs> get excited. We harmonize. Yeah, we get excited. Yeah, yeah maybe that's what yeah. it is. Maybe maybe there's yeah. too much exuberance for oh. Mr. Remmer skill. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right, so now we have our next one star review. Oh, boy. And this is from the Don and Mike show. Who the hell is the Don and Mike I show? I don't know. I wanted to look it up so I could just copy and paste their review on to our review. The, the review did for us. Over there. <laughs> okay. But I, I didn't want to waste any time doing it. So maybe in the future, who knows? Uh, okay. Okay. But they title it uh, Worst Unfunny Dizzy Podcast. Wow, we're unfunny too and terrible. Um, <laughs> yes. Horrible. Funny. Horrible. Can Not we terrible, just be horrible. the Someone's worst funny. podcast, yeah. but sometimes funny? Unfunny. Just unfunny. Worse yeah, but we're more than funny. We're we have unfunny. no value as human beings or yeah. as a podcast. That's right. Okay. Moo. Anyway, their comment says, <laughs> stop trying to be funny. You are not. It comes naturally to some hosts, these, but these hosts, I added a but because they don't know how to write. Uh, these hosts don't have that gift <laughs> and drop the fake personas. The way you're trying to talk, it's humiliating. They didn't even put a period in the no, personas. It's, it's, it's hard to read. The way know. he's typing is humiliating. <laughs> Wow. We've talked about this one before, but yes, I figured this one's worthy bringing it up. The fake persona. This is the fake yeah. persona. This is the, this is the fake persona one, yeah. Oh. yeah. So, Rachel, you've known us on and off the air. Is this pretty much how we are on and off the air? Is, is there any fake? It, yeah. I would disagree with the fake persona <laughs> thing, for sure. I, right. I think this is pretty much who you guys are. The unfunny <laughs> part, Rachel totally agrees with, but the fake persona, <laughs> she's completely... No, very yeah. authentic. I Genuinely, I, I think you guys are really authentic on the on the podcast, for Yeah, sure. um, that is... Wow, the, to think that you know somebody so well that you can discern their real personality. This guy's 
Got some skill. Well, Don and Mike. Yeah. Oh, Don yeah, and Mike. Don so and both Mike. of Don and yeah, Mike. Guys, y'all got skills, man. Uh, they do. Congratulations they do. on unsuccessfully diagnosing us. Is he one of these people that started one of those weird clone podcasts about topics? I don't think. Uh, I was wondering either that or if they're like just generally just like mm. they, they have to start fights with other shows and stuff. Yeah. To generate like more listeners. Oh, uh, buzz for themselves. Yeah, yeah. buzz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. like to start YouTubers fights. do that. Yeah. 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 And we have. Good yeah. with that. Yeah. yeah we've, we've, We've started fights. We've ended fights with people. Yeah. But so, I mean, ain't nothing fake about that. But. <laughs> well, our next one star review. Okay. His title is from Horizons 82. Oh, I like Horizons. Oh, Too nice. bad he didn't like me. Yeah. I like Horizons. <laughs> but he <laughs> doesn't <laughs> like you. But uh, titled Seriously. Okay. Seriously. Uh, okay. Seriously. So all this up until now has been a joke. Yes. Okay. Right. Now we're getting yeah. serious. So right. This review is serious. Cool. And the comment says, deleted after hearing your suggestion that geishas give you foot massages in the Japan pavilion. <laughs> That's Eli. <laughs> I thought that was... He did that. Did I do that? Did yes, do you that? did. No, I'm pretty sure it was you. I would do it. I've done... Of course, I got a geisha book, but... Don't... You have, you've gotten foot massages? Wait in a minute. Pavilion? Didn't geishas give them foot massages? Yes, geishas... Were back servant at, girls. Yes. Right? And performers and... And yes. Well, and how is this tech. factually inaccurate? You know, that's what I'm saying. I I did I did research not on this uh, critique, but to do the book, I did a research on that. But I, if I said it, I'll still own that. Mm -hmm. I thought it was legal, but uh, that's that's fine. I, mean, I know I agree with it because after a long day of walking around Epcot, who couldn't use a foot massage? I want a foot massage. That's extra money. I, that's extra money from I mean, Disney. It, that Rachel, would, would you take a foot massage? After a long day of walking around, I did it at California Grand Californian. There you go, Disneyland. It was wow. fantastic. Now imagine was, if I, if it was in Japan with a foot massage and a frozen Kirin, as we learned on the last. Oh, show. that would be. I heaven. mean, listen, that was that sounds great. But yes. would Geisha still do it? I don't know. Is that, I, I would, I is that his only problem? Is that it was a Japan thing? Like, is that like, is, is he trying to insinuate that's like racist or something? That was it. Or sexist? Yeah. Or, oh, maybe that's they did it. Did a little uh, emoji with the eyes looking up? Like, oh, uh, he's rolling his eyes. Ro kind of yeah, thing. that's it. Yeah. Rolling the eyes. Oh, oh, yeah. Come yeah. on, yeah. you know, come on. Good. I mean, there's a factual basis. It's not like geishas didn't give massages. You heard one line from a whole show, and then that's what you pull from. I mean, if that's the case, don't watch or listen to anything ever. Because every now and again, somebody's gonna say a lie. You're gonna see something that you're gonna not quite agree with. Yeah, I was gonna say if this line hurt you in some kind of a way, you, you might need to toughen up a little yourself. bit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, go milk yourself. Yeah, go milk yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Is that our new? That should be our new drop. Go milk Why, yourself. Go milk that's yourself. gonna be a shirt. And yeah, I gotta learn go, it in many go, languages. Go, go, go milk let yourself. the geisha work yes. the milk out you. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So our next one star review because these are all one stars. How many more of these we got? <laughs> Can't be many. <laughs> There's not too many. Hate. Yeah. No, we're almost done. We're almost if done. If they ain't right. hate, that's what the rappers say. If if they ain't hate, you ain't doing something right. That's, that's what right. I hear yeah. on the street. There you go. There there you you go. Go. Okay. All right. So right. this one's from Fried Gator on a Stick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So they're from here. I, I, I like take Fried this Gator. person Probably. seriously. Yeah. That sounds yeah. like a New Orleans. I okay. like fried gator though. All right. I don't know. Oh boy. I that's the only kind of gator I've ever had is fried gator, and it was. Oh, good. you need blackened alligator. That yeah, stuff I'm is not done that. badass. Just fried. Yeah, no, it's it's incredible. Y'all are sick. And I love it. <laughs> I'm not Give me any, that reptile. I'm not eating anything that could eat me. We're going to ask, we're going to ask Lily's friend <laughs> to, karma. to kill one of them alligators yeah. and get a chance to, to try. Oh, Marin's a badass. Yeah. <laughs> Your daughter's friend? Yeah, she's yeah. a little 13 year old girl, goes hunting, and she's like Daryl Dixon from. Walk uh, the Dead. Yeah, there should be a comic book about her. She's such a trip to sit around and talk to. Hunger man. Games? We want to <laughs> do it. We, I want to I want to make one. I, I tell you. She's, she's a kid. trip she's in, to talk to. Yeah. Yeah, Lara she, Croft. No, no joke. Yeah. She calls a gator a swamp puppy. Mm -hmm. a swamp puppy? Swamp puppy. She is like, you know, like, you ever saw a kick ass? Yeah. She's like Hit Girl. Yes. She's oh, very okay. much like Hit Girl. Yes. She's just this badass. She does all this hunting and fishing, and like, she's like a lives off the land kind of person. I told that girl, I said, look, when the zombie apocalypse come, will you protect me? Oh, damn straight. Yeah. I'm going to her house. She said, oh, no problem. She's stoking the fire. She said, oh, no problem. <laughs> no problem. I I'm like, I'll carry your ammo for you. Yeah, we just lit up want. the fire pit. Yeah. She's like, this is how you do it. You go ahead and you got a good, you need some brush. And then you go ahead and you take some dry leaves. You put, like, she took it she was like, over. She was like, stoking the fire oh, stuff. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Talk about resurrected chipmunks and she stuff. She contributed for ha yeah. you having her over at the house. Yeah. No, anyway, so all right. Sorry, all right so we're right getting on a stick. This is how yeah. they title their review. It says, Friday. too much banner. You don't say. <laughs> what? <laughs> banter. As That's if perfect. to illustrate the point. Right. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, and the right comment, on, Mister yeah. Fry. Right on. Right, right on. <laughs> you nailed us. And the it. comment says more like a ridiculous morning show than anything informative. I wanted more info on the Caribbean beach and didn't even make it all the way through. I Too can't many blame. sound clips and yep. crude jokes makes me think of the radio show from Parks and Rec. No, <laughs> just no. I'll be sticking to Diz Unplugged and Main Street Mouse. Wow. Well, you know, everything he said up until that point was correct until he got to the last two shows. One, I don't even know what that is. Main Street Mouse, is that even around? And if know. you think our behavior is bad, check out what the Diz Unplugged guy's been up to. Yeah, he's out now. Mm. I mean, they have a new... Well, Diz Unplugged is actually not... They're not they producing right now. That. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, they, the guys that are sponsored by Dreams Unlimited Travel started a new podcast called... And YouTube channel and all that. You know, everything they used to do before called um the Diz Unlimited. Ah, so they just changed oh. the name. But yeah, they did have to dissolve that um because of some not mm. so great news about the owner. Yeah. One of the owners. Yeah. Former yeah. owners, I think. Well take that swamp puppy. Well you know, but hey this may be an opportunity to win Fried Gator on a stick back. There you go. Come back yeah. Fried Gator on a stick. <laughs> yeah. Come back, Russ. You're different. right. That Caribbean beach show was terrible. But in our defense there really was not Butch. a whole lot of information <laughs> on the Caribbean beach. There was a backstory, but even Jim Corcus and Jim Hill couldn't locate it. So I don't think Lee Lasavico is going to do much better. Yeah, I'll own the Shia LaBeouf interruption. Yeah, that it's, was It's only because I found the uh, Shia LaBeouf soundboard, which mm-hmm. happened, is online, and there's a big Shia LaBeouf <laughs> button. But to be fair to you, Kevin, again, you found that soundboard, but two, we were trying to back then, of course, so we didn't have the ability to, you know, communicate and figure out time like we did. And Lee was trying to buy some time for the stuff that daddy was talking about oh right so again yeah. we were artists improvising just went a little too far so yeah banter banter <laughs> banter yeah i think it's called banter too much, banter. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. I, worry, I can't worry about that and know? here's the thing about the morning show thing is like you know this, this we we follow the concept of, of a true podcast uh nowadays you get a lot of these podcasts that are really hyper produced much like npr shows mm-hmm. and stuff yeah which is not how this platform originated no you know, a lot of it's the people like us just talking i mean you, you heard kevin smith talk about it you know he grabbed two mics and a, and a friend and a computer and you got a podcast damn straight so it's i mean we're, if, it's kind of like what's that movie with about the radio thing with christian's uh christian's oh, pump uh, up the volume yeah yeah pump up the volume you know we're, we're t- like it's not like pirate radio but we're like you know we're, we're like we're keeping it true to the original origins of a podcast mm-hmm. you know and, and and before like these npr people started inundating it with these hyper produced uh things and 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 hollywood discovered that this was lucrative <laughs> you know yeah yeah if we could get a morning show, we'd take that in a heartbeat and drop this podcast thing like that. Yeah. Magic Our Way morning. Good morning, exactly. Magic Our Way. Well, yeah. well how, how early in the morning? Mimosas with Magic Our Way. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Good was, morning. I yeah, was, but think, you, you show up at four and then you're done at work at seven. And that's mm. it. The rest of the day is yours. Oh, four. Oh, I could do. I call shenanigans. The people should know <laughs> that you people don't wake up until much later. That is true. <laughs> so totally true. I woke up at around 1120 today. It was great. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Yeah. I, but I stay up until like two or three. I was going to say, that's true. Yeah, Rachel, like yeah. at, at four o'clock, I'm still at my peak. But then once you get to five, then yes, and I'm, then I'm out. But then you're out. Yeah. Man, I late for me is like nine o'clock. To get up? Eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like I was, I was up before. I, I was up usually before right. in the morning. Mm. Just. Just just because of work. Work has me conditioned like that. Yeah. yeah. Too yeah. much so. banner, Kevin. Too, too much banner. banner. All right. All right. Moving on. But that's the first legitimate one I think I've read. Yes. I like right. that. The next one star review. This is from C. Dizzler. Dirk Diggler did what? Yeah. <laughs> and it's titled, This is Unlistenable. <laughs> wow. And the comment is only this. There is too much nonsense going on. Enough already. <laughs> enough already? Enough <laughs> already. Oh, my. Enough already. Wow. <laughs> Stop the pain. Like, guys, we're putting pain out into the world, we man. Are. I mean, you can just hit pause and move along. Yeah. There is that. <laughs> but I have <laughs> to know. tell the world my disgust with the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, fair enough. Sometimes there, you know, sometimes there is too much back and forth and too much banter. And I think we, you know, we took, or you guys especially, but now that I'm here too, I think we've taken that into consideration and we think about that when we're editing and. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we grow as and evolve as a podcast, and it's great. And sometimes we're on air, and we just get drunk, and things just kind of fly off the rails a little bit. That does happen. Uh, generally, people like those shows. So. Yeah, we get more feedback from those shows from mm-hmm. anything else. It's just odd. So sometimes we kind of lose our edge. But hey, look, guys, we're giving you a podcast every single week, 300 and... Well, not 300. Was it 52 weeks in a year? <laughs> 
Is that how, is that where we're at? <laughs> Three hundred sixty-five podcasts. Yes, yeah. we're doing no, 52, fifty-two. Weeks. There's five hundred five hundred podcasts. They can't all be winners. Oh, that's right. That's right. Right. Um, that's why we do so many. Exactly. <laughs> a bunch of them we're one do. of these days we're going to get it right. Yes. So this next one star review is from uh, a user by the name of, and it, these are emojis: pretzel cheese, pretzel cheese, pretzel cheese. Guy likes pretzels and cheese. I guess he likes. I do love cheese. pretzels and cheese. Do, yeah. Me too. We're yeah. already in. Why are we hating on one another? We already have so much in common. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah. They titled it another emoji, which is like that uh, face. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like the eyebrows are uh, in there. We're like, oh, this show. That, that kind of face. It's like a. Wait, hold on. I got it. Here. It's like, it's it's like, like a, a little a, crying face. Like put it's off. Like cry, yeah, put off. Maybe it's a put off. Oh, it's a put, a put off. He's, this person's put off. Yeah. Oh. And, and, and the only comment is, boo! With ex- a ton of exclamation points and random like uh, symbols that I guess he was really angry. How do you misspell a, a word with only two letters? I know he's got an umlaut in there. He's got you know, he's got a different things in there. Yeah, he's from another country. There's like <laughs> pretzels and cheese. Yeah, there's there's like, like an a, integer in there. There's yeah. an upside down exclamation point. They have I think the zodiac symbol. There's an ellipse in, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did hey. the zodiac killer write this? That I might know. be, dude. That might be a way to go. Like we're the Zodiac killer. They never found the guy. We could be the Zodiac killer's least favorite podcast. Should I? Should I read it backwards <laughs> for a message? Yeah, there you could. If we decipher this, we'll find out the identity of the killer. Ooh, because ooh, 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 ooh. yeah. Wow, there's a lot. Of, like upside down. Yeah, I don't even know what to say to that. To dis- well, wow, I guess, I guess wow. pretzels and cheese doesn't like us. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, pretzels and cheese. I- yeah. I'd like to know what was so boo about I, I, it. I, that's what I would like to know. I would like to just know what was the episode that he or she heard mm. and uh, that yeah. caused for such a long boo. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Maybe it's a ghost. <laughs> Maybe that's a positive review, but it's, just, it's he's haunting our uh, iTunes page. So it's like, boo. I mean, so like one no. star is like a positive in their world? Yes. It's, it's the hat box ghost that just came from getting some pretzels and melted cheese on it. Uh, like, too much yeah. pretzels. And, that's cholesterol right there, baby. That's going to clog that's you up. Cheese, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. This dude's probably dead. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ghost. It's the ghost. All right, and our final negative review, and this is like uh, all the reviews are on there. We just looked at them today recently. This is the thirtieth of December, and this is from Lou Mangello, spelled with a J. <laughs> so not really. So not really Lou Mangello, really. but Annette Full of Jello. I, I don't know about that. I've been very critical about Lou Mangello. This could be the very be. Yeah. same Lou Mangello. Yeah, could be. Could be. But could this be. isn't one star. This is two stars. It's two stars. Yeah, we it, got it, two it, stars. But there's a reason we got two stars. And it's titled "Oh Brother." Oh brother. Oh brother. Oh boy. And the comment goes like this: This podcast has turned into the Danny complains hour. <laughs> He likes nothing, is satisfied with nothing. It's a really draining and experience. I don't, it's it's really draining and experience. You should see how my wife feels, sir. Hey. <laughs> ah. I, I guess they meant to say it's a really draining experience. Oh, no, you misspelled no draining? Well, he put an and in there. It's a really draining and experience. Don't know, I guess. Oh. Okay, so anyway. Okay. He Maybe goes on. You know, put your hate out in the world, at least get it right. I huh? mean, we can't make you that angry where you can't spell right. Well, it's not us, oh, that could it's be just, it. It's just Danny. It's just, oh, oh, yeah, oh it's just, yeah. that's right. It's just Danny. Danny's yeah. got him so bad, this yeah. person can't spell. Yeah. Okay, wait. It. Well, hold up. Keep going. Yeah. And, uh, we keep, uh, yeah. We keep going, and, and they say, love Rachel as an addition. I can tell she actually loves the parks. She tries to be positive, but Mr. Buzzkill has recorded three episodes <laughs> in a row. I've been listening for over. Three in a row. Yeah. Three in a <laughs> row. Three in a row. Three in a row, man. That's a hat trick, man. I pulled a hat trick of hate. The hate trick. <laughs> They end it with, I've been listening for over a year. Tell Danny to take a few pods off. That's it. Dude, if I could, I would, you son of a bitch. <laughs> they won't let me. <laughs> I'm chained to this chair. I'm like, I'm trying like, we're I'm chained kidding. to the seats. <laughs> I mean, you do own the property. I do. Yes, I I, I, <laughs> I do. But, you know, sir, I'd be happy to take, you know, like, I'm, I'm scrolling back because I want to see. So this is dated uh, August, August 31st, 2023. Yeah, so I want to see the, yeah. the three shows that I was, I was so bad on because I didn't realize, I thought at the beginning of the show, we said this isn't your typical practice pixie dusting podcast kind of thing i thought we we're pretty th- clear about that yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, i don't know that unrelenting positivity is part of my job description here but uh i could be mistaken <laughs> <laughs> could be mistaken there that's our job that's why you know we're not that's even y- look. part of the we're not even part of the critique Kat. yeah that's, i know that's true we're that's not even a in funny there. part of it because i don't remember any show whatsoever where i've just been unrelentingly negative 
and you two have been positive, and Rachel's uh, always positive. Uh, I, I don't we're probably know. just middle of the road. That's what yeah, we're yeah, we, don't, like, we don't take we're any milk stands. toast. Yeah, y'all we're aren't even toast. heard apparently. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I didn't make enough zoo noises in those last three episodes. Well, too. step up the oh, okay. So this this was left August 31st. August 29th, we released Tiana's Palace Menu and IP and Disney. Re okay, I gotta be th that is not fair, sir. I think we were all negative on that Tiana's Palace Menu. Yeah, yeah, I don't even Rachel. I think I was like, I, yeah, I don't think I was very positive either. I, I was just sort of like, I don't know, maybe it'll be better than we think. I haven't been out there, so I really don't know. No, but. yeah, and, and I don't even remember being over like I, I was trying, but I mean, every single I mean, I'm so, come on, I'm not an expert on much, but New Orleans food, I think I should be able to be qualified yes. to have an opinion about what a muffalata should taste oh, like. Oh God, that's uh, yeah, kale that's gumbo. Fair. Kale gumbo. Kale oh, gumbo, yes. yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just struck it up just hearing that again. I, apparently when you complain and Kevin complain, they just, it's all my voice. <laughs> I mean, you know. It's all under the helm of Danny and you know, we need Rachel to, to balance this to out. To balance it out. Yeah. Well, exactly. of course. I mean, but our complaints apparently are they're not as well lengthy or nothing. I guess we just yell out the crazy complaint and they're like, ah, them two guys are crazy. So and then the, you come out with the good law complaint. <laughs> the show for that before that was five questions for the avid Disney fan. Mm hmm. There again, I don't know. Uh, was uh, was I overwhelmingly negative on that? You gotta give me a. That was where I, I asked a bunch of different questions and stuff. Uh, to, you know, like what's your favorite this? What's your favorite that? What would make you go to the parks? So I don't know if there was a really yeah, a chance for you to be super negative. Yeah, that wasn't a negative. I mean, like if if the if the overall thought is that Danny is critical, that okay. is true. That's very true. Mm -hmm. That yeah. that's absolutely true. But I'm also like. In my late forties, I'm a father. <laughs> like I'm, I'm kind of yeah, grumpy old men. That's not just a saying. That's that's a really that's a lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I totally agree um, with that. Sorry guys, my optimistic days are over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no that, clue. That's why Rachel no is clue. here to help energize us yes. with positivity. Yes, yes, that's very. Fair. Or for us to corrupt her with negativity. One of the two. There's the Sith well, and the Jedi. Yeah. There, we will fight it out. And see who wins mm -hmm. off of this. Uh, prior to that, it was Rachel's Disneyland trip report. Rachel, was I overwhelmingly <laughs> negative about your Disneyland trip? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> we're all pretty positive. Actually, I mean, in fairness to you, usually when it comes to Disneyland, you are very positive. Love Disneyland. Oh, Disneyland's great. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think I complain much in, in the way of Disneyland unless I'm going with my cousin. Um, <laughs> hey! Disney had That's little stupid. to do with that yeah. nightmare. <laughs> That's a funny episode. But yeah, I would say usually when we're, especially when we're talking about Disneyland, you seem more positive. Very yeah, much so. I don't know. I mean, sometimes, I, sometimes for sure we can get negative. I just, I think that that's part of what some people appreciate, but yeah, that's not for everybody. And maybe, you that's know, true. there's a lot of people that go to Disney podcasts because they just want to reminisce about their favorite parts about the, the trip and the place. And they want to kind of tide themselves over until the next. And so, you know, maybe having a hot take or two is just not what people are looking for. Some people, but there are definitely a lot of people who are looking for hot takes. And so. I think that, you know, I, I tend sometimes to err on the like maybe a little too much benefit of the doubt for Disney and and maybe you err on the other side. And I think it's nice that we balance each other out. So what makes it interesting? Exactly. And we're very respectful of each other's opinion. And I love yeah. when we disagree because totally. it makes good conversation. And and it's like a model of, con of being of conversing. Yeah. <laughs> it basically yeah. what it is. Yeah, that's how, yeah, that's how you know, talking. A lot of people nowadays can't do it. If we all just agreed with each other, it'd be really boring. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Right. And that, that's one right. of the things about creating this show is I wanted balance to that pixie dusting world because there was too much of it. One of, one of my favorite shows that used to be very objective very critical I stopped producing for a while because they had a kid and I was like well now we have a void and so that's where you know we, we we talked about the story and this is where we came up with this idea for the show to be like very very honest and you know bring that balance because I'm all about balance you've heard me talk about this in the show there's always a yin and a yang with the universe and everything we say it over and over again that um, all opinions are welcome in the Magic Away podcast but not all opinions are equal some opinions are more based on facts some opinions are more based on passion I mean it's like their opinions are there but I mean it's like yeah that's even our opinions are welcome I'm on the Magic Our Way podcast, but there are people to help counterbalance that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, exactly. So I'm sorry that um, I, I ruined your day, uh, Mr. Mangello. <laughs> I didn't yeah. mean to, but none of um, us. But you've never, you've never been like, I hate this 
part. I hate this because I just hate it. God dog, and I hate it. It's 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 never been something like that. None of us have ever done something like that. And if this Mister Mugello, J E L L O, would uh, just take the time to kind of go back and really follow, because this is like a, a almost like a box of comic books, if you will. The stories evolve. So if this person had listened to like previous shows where we talked about how the prices got hiked and how things had changed and how it was easier to go to the parks, but now it became harder because of this, that, and the other, those shows evolved into these educated opinions and they are based on fact, but it's never been something where we're like, not doing this because it just don't want to. That's negative. But to say, well, it's either be homeless or go to a park I mean, that's just true. Okay. Can I you ask know? Rachel an, an opinion here? Am I more negative yeah. than Eli and Kevin? Um, I mean, I get Kevin's kind of milk toast. Like, that's what JP says. <laughs> yeah. Like, Kevin's like fine. always yeah. middle of the milk road toast. Yeah. <laughs> but like, okay. So I get that. Yeah, I probably am more negative than Kevin. Well, I have a, well, I'm a, I'll let Rachel answer, but I do have a theory on that. Okay. All right. Let's hear this. Yeah. Well, if I'm making a spectrum. I would put you and Eli more towards negative than Kevin. I would say on average. Sure. Who's more negative, me or Eli? I don't. I don't know. I honestly, I feel like you two are kind of <laughs> equal. Wow. We share the same brain, is what my wife says. But yeah, I don't think you're always negative. I don't think so either. I, I do tend to. I I think I at least try to find some level of positivity where I can find it. But um, can I tell yeah. you this? Okay, you know what? Here, here's what I would say. I would say this. When you go to Disney, you're paying a premium, are you not? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, you're paying a premium. So the expectations are higher. So I have very, very high expectations of Disney when I go there. And so if something stands out as subpar or not quite up to snuff, it does ring out a little bit more than, say, you know, if you were to go someplace, uh, I don't know, like, say, listen to a podcast that's for free. Yeah. <laughs> right, right you know yeah. i might be a little bit more lenient with the podcast that I, has given me all this content and entertainment for free as opposed to the company that's charging me a premium for it and i might be a little bit more lenient on the podcast <laughs> than, right. than say the big corporate company that you know is taking me by my ankles and shaking every dime out of my pocket i might be a little more critical about their entertainment in that fashion i could see that yeah I, my theory was that i think uh, people's uh sensitivity to negativity varies right so if this person has a very light sensitivity to negativity, then the way you may word things may come off as extremely negative, you know, even though, so they hear the negative words, like just and negative words in general, like, like not, never, no, stuff like that without hearing the actual point that you're trying to make, mm. which is actually more objective than anything else. So I think because they hear only hear that, they perceive you as negative. I like that because it's this, it's the same principles like why well, I usually are the ones that respond to like the emails and stuff. Ah. I, I put it in a way that's not so. I mean, yeah, there, there's negative things that I have to discuss about it, but I don't put it in a way that's like so oof, you know, like where <laughs> some people can't deal with that, and so maybe they're just light on the sen negativity sensitivity. I guess if that's even a thing, I don't know. I was just say I also think that if, if we were just all four of us super positive all the time this would be really boring yeah but yeah, like, really absolutely. boring you know what i mean so like it's, it would be it's good to have all of that diversity of opinion and like having that extreme bad it you know extreme negative or whatever sometimes is is really useful for balancing out a discussion that is so true right because diversity of opinion to me is the most important thing like you can have diversity of background culture whatever but i mean and diversity of opinion is really what you want and that's how you grow yeah exactly right uh, and that is why you've been such a breath of fresh air and, and look I, I gotta give this guy some credit at least he gave us two stars because of rachel's contribution sure <laughs> so there is that so rachel thank you because <laughs> otherwise this would have been a one-star review so that's true. good job on that one but yeah no i look I will try to be somewhat more positive until I accrue enough vacation time on the Magic Ori podcast to take a few podcasts <laughs> off. How about oh, that? Right Is that a fair compromise? Sure, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess it, Mr. Mangello with a J would have to say that. But you know, oh, well, well, it's to you, Mr. Mangello. Yeah, yeah. It's similar to that guy's namesake, uh, you know, where he says, choose the good. I like to say, choose the honest. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Let's, be, let's just be honest with our how I really feel about things and you know regardless if they're negative or they're positive or whatever else and sir i wouldn't be spending upwards of twenty thousand dollars a year on disney if i hated it that much i promise right. you i was right. gonna say that and my my of final course. my final comment on that was just to say 
we're artistic buffs. We're not artistic cream puffs. That means that. <laughs> Yo, Ooh, I do like that. I do too, man. I think you may have just invented a new tagline. Eh? To I, that's what I do. That's Not artistic. I, I, I liked yeah. my we the Zodiac Killer's least favorite podcasting, but that that I think tra- that transcends that. That's yes. it. Yes. That's, that's the that's the one we're going. With. I'm just saying because we they don't know like people who make these things they don't know that you know we talk about stories we talk about stuff behind the scenes all the time. And so we come with that particular mindset. And if the person, and it's not their fault, if they don't really share that type of mindset, like, hey, this is where I go to escape and not to analyze anything, then yeah, then maybe so. Yes, maybe then it does come off as negative. But any artist knows the true power to get better, like we said before, is by true critique. Yes. Positive or negative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Are we done with this negativity? We are done can with we, the negativity. We are Mr. Buzzkill. All right. On to the positivity. So yes. here we go. Mr. Buzzkill. Can I trademark that? <laughs> yes. that? Can that be my name? Yeah. On the That's your new room? book. Got it for you. Mr. Buzzkill. <laughs> Mr. Buzzkill. All right. All right. Here we go. Who's next? Who is next is all the positive reviews. We've got all the positive. I'm not going to say all. I take that back. Some no? of the positive reviews because there's way, just way too many. There's a ton of them. Good. There's oh. a ton of positive reviews. So there's like 64. Yeah, I way too say. many. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. So there's like five, 64 five so star thanks, reviews. Thanks, everybody. Yes. Yeah. yeah 100%. We love the love. And then there was like some four star reviews in there as there well. No three star yeah. reviews, which don't get me wrong, I'm not asking for a three star review. <laughs> we don't need the just, spectrum. But, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, th- none of that. So, our first one is a five star review. Okay, from SL Zarang. Mm. How about that? I know this person. Do you? I do. I, I think I know this person too. I do too. I don't know who this is. Uh, good. <laughs> you call her Osama. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> and the title: Our artistic buffs know their Disney stuff. And the comment is: Cognitively, your cerebral pagoda will acquire more knowledge. <laughs> From that, that's a callback. If you're a longtime listener, you know what this person means. That's Cerebral Aaron. Pagoda um, will acquire more knowledge from this podcast than any other, so you will get the most out of your Disney experience. Mm. It'll help you have little to no buyer's remorse when you book your incredibly <laughs> expensive Disney trip. <laughs> <laughs> very true. I, I yeah, well, <laughs> very true. SL. It is very, very, very expensive to go. But look, I, I've never had. If you were to tell me uh, the worst Disney trip I've had is probably better than the best weekend I've ever had in New Orleans, <laughs> I can tell you that. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Uh, so yeah, so that was that was, that was awesome. I don't. I, I mean, Cerebral Pagoda. That's a, that's a callback. That's, a, call, that's a definite callback. Um, those that have been listening for the show a while could probably figure out who this person is. And I'll just say that's my sister, and yes. <laughs> that was very, <laughs> that was well very well said, Sandy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. We had to read that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she <laughs> listens every week, she though. Does. She is a loyal listener. I get, I can't tell you how many phone calls I get from her yes. about the things that we discuss in the show. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. she'll come and be like, you actually made me laugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You actually okay. made me laugh. Yeah. As opposed to Lily, who does not tells you all the time that I'm you're not, not funny. Yeah, I'm not funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there's tough. a whole bunch of podcast reviews that say that as well, but that's from, coming from my daughter. That's yeah. yeah. Yes. All right, so this next five-star review is interesting because we actually got in later into an argument with this particular person. Mm. And so the, the nickname they use is Rachel Guy 72 oh, I liked uh, Rachel. Yeah. 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 Not you. Not, 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 not this Rachel. Not yeah, this Rachel. That, this is a different yeah. Rachel from a, a different. Da- different podcast from a long, long time ago back when we were just that little was... seedling podcasters. Yeah, this yeah. is yeah, this is very old. Yeah, it's very, very old, yeah. But she titles it Love Them Weekends. Um, and the comment was amazing podcast with so many great hosts and guest contributors. Love how involved Kevin and Danny are in the community and hope they continue to grow. Love you guys. Keep up the amazing work. Hashtag Eli for host. Couldn't resist. <laughs> so I, I figure I'd include that because that one's a callback to when it was just me and you. And there was a time where we were, we were running two shows and Eli would still be around. And I think Keith might have started that whole campaign of Eli for host. He let Eli host the show. Listener X, listener X. Yeah. I think that's because I kept complaining whenever you would take a show off. I'm like, I hate hosting. I don't want to <laughs> host. The last thing in the world I want to do is host a podcast. But I think Rachel can kind of take that over. She can. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the next five star review, and this nickname's funny. Is a title. The nickname is annoyed by required nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. But those not on Apple. When you enter a review for the first time, you have to make up a nickname. 
that is associated with every review that you have. All right. And this review is titled Good Variety of Topics. And it says a good variety of topics that you don't hear everywhere else. Just listen to the California Grill episode and brought back memories of how much I love that place. <laughs> Check out a few of the podcast. Nice. Nice, Lee said. I, I like that. Uh, except that y- you say that good topics that aren't heard anywhere else. I guarantee you there are podcasts out there who have stolen a lot of our ideas Very much. and have used, uh, especially our game show ideas, mm-hmm. uh, ha- have used that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yes, I appreciate the sentiment on that one. But yeah, there there's a lot of people out there that use our ideas right now. Yes. And because we all try to think of some new way to reinvent ourselves all the time. So I appreciate this one just for the acknowledgement and endorsement of that idea. Sure. Oh, yeah. All right. So our next five-star review comes from a nickname called Showers to Flowers. Showers to Flowers. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. All right. And they and they title it Done Right. Done right. right. Done I right. like it. Yeah. Right. So it took me a while to warm up to these guys. That's most women, yeah. Yep. I- <laughs> <laughs> 10 years of dating my wife for her to warm up to me. I was going to say some uh, less than others. Yeah, I was going to say still some days are icy. (laughs) (laughs) I listen to several Disney podcasts, oftentimes right before I go to sleep. I finally figured out that I was setting myself up to dislike them. I'll explain. (laughs) Because they've got such a rapport and have so much fun, they end up a lot louder than most other podcasts. So where other podcasts put me to sleep... Uh, in parentheses, let's put aside what that says about them or me for now. Mm. This one <laughs> kept my attention. Oh. Then I stayed up late to finish listening. Then I was all grumpy from lack of sleep. <laughs> 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 There's like a love hate thing going on here, man. This is yeah. awesome. I like it. Yes. And he says, once I figured that out, it was easy to lay aside my quibbles, listen during the day instead, and love this podcast. These guys have a true love for dizzy stuff that shines through. That love includes criticism when needed, praise when deserved, and a thoughtful, engaging conversation during which they never lose sight of the importance of humor no matter what. Wow, man, this person gets us. Yeah, I like that. That I wish I knew who this was. This person is our lobster. I hope you're still listening, uh, Mr. Uh, Showers no. to Flowers. Or, or Mrs. 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 Showers to Flowers. Mrs. April Showers, bring me flowers. I mm-hmm. like it. I Beautiful. Like it. Beautiful. And then they, they're going to be critical of another show. Uh, but they say the bros who took over WDW today would do well to take a lesson from the gentlemen of MOW. That's right. That's right. Come on, bros at WDW today. Let's get it on. Yeah. Bros. <laughs> the former, and they talk about, and they mean the former by the bros who took over WDW today, are prime examples of the perils of forgetting your purpose and alienating much of your audience with your broness. The latter, which is us, the latter stay true to their purpose and resist the danger of descending into caricatures of themselves. This is a very well written review. Mm-hmm. This is wow. I, yeah, I'm, I'm learning something about me from reading this. This is great. <laughs> this is therapeutic for Danny. It, it is. is. Yes. Because you remember, I was unfunny and negative before, but now I feel better about myself. I'm. <laughs> oh. I am so glad we saved the positive for yes. last. Yes, positive <laughs> is good. Yes. <laughs> And basically, they, they end their uh, their comment with one of my top three podcasts about any topic, not just Disney. Highly recommend. Awesome. I wish I, would, mm. I knew who this person's other two favorite podcasts were. Yeah. I, I, I hope they're still listening. I and hope so, too. Yeah. I remember that whole thing about when WWE got bought out, you know, where they, when the original guys yeah. sold it, they retired from the whole thing because they were just, disgr- you know, at least one of them was a little disgruntled by the whole Disney thing. Broness. And then they sold it to some people, uh, Laughogram Studios or something like that, I think is what they, they're still in production. Mm. But yeah, it was it was a big shift, man. It was completely different, and I totally understand the broness. So, but Kev, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to do a bad try. I just haven't listened to this other podcast. So, yeah. so broness is that like like mansplaining or something? <laughs> I, it, it, this no. is, it, I don't know, Rachel. Do you have a better? Because yeah. I think this is like a term that's younger than me. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Yes. To yeah. me, someone saying like they got too broy or something like that would mean that they have like a they have a relationship that they are kind of like exclusive about in the way that they talk, like, like a lot of inside jokes and things that like they, you wouldn't get. And so they're, they're like, you know, they're just super cool and they're cool with each other and they're got their inside jokes. And like, you're just sort of outside. 
God, okay, I you're got not you. a bro. So not the, a bro. Got the you. broness that, that that has nothing to do with the like the patriarchy or something. I'm sorry, I just watched a Barbie movie uh, for the first time the other day. Yeah, and so I'm trying. I'm still trying to decipher that. That it tells me something about women that I I'm still trying to work my way through. Uh, so <laughs> it, it, we appreciate I, your thoughts. <laughs> no, I am because I mean that's like uh, that's like women 101 right there. I, and I need to decipher this and I need to learn. I'm gonna need <laughs> repeated viewings of the Barbie movie because I wish it there is. <laughs> something oh, a lot yeah there's there lot. is something about that movie that is like all women like and i'm like okay yeah there's something going on behind the scenes here i, I gotta decipher this i would yeah it is different than broness it is different than broness and so yeah the bro thing is definitely it, that's not necessarily about like women versus men the bro thing is about like having your own thing going on and like you're too cool for everybody else mm. hmm Hmm. That's, That's how I interpret it. I could be wrong though. No, that makes sense. It makes though. sense. That, wow, that makes yeah, sense. That, I took it like it's like some like fraternity shenanigans okay. kind of broness kind of thing. Could that's be, a, yeah. I mean, that's it's, what it's I took along the same so, lines. Yeah. I mean, I, I remember listening to two shows like I can't do this anymore. I can't with these guys. So I, I unsubscribe and I was like, I, I haven't listened to them since. Okay. So there's that review. Okay. Um, this one I like. Uh, this is another five star review, and the nickname is a twisted lime. Good. A twisted lime. A twisted lime. Mixed Go, with what? Any whatever you want. Should be with this drink. With gin. Yeah, gin, mm. and, gin and tonic with a twisted lime. Okay. Anyway, the title is Great Information and Not the Same Repetitive Stuff. Ooh. And I like this because they, they say this. If you already know how to use the dining plan and you're tired of all the same topics on Disney Podcasts, this is the podcast for you. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, wow. I like that's that. Fair. Yeah, that's Nicely fair. Nicely said. Straight yeah. to the point. Yes. Yeah, we're not really instructing on, you know, like I think about, I listen to WDW Prep School a lot. I really like that podcast, but her goal for a lot of her podcasts is really to teach people how to navigate the parks. And that's really cool, but that is a different mission than what we have. And so I think that's a really fair review is that like, if that's what you're doing, if you're here to like learn about how to plan your trip. Don't listen to the podcast for that. Just reach out to me via email, rachel at magicarway.com. That's my job. Yeah, but, that's totally um, true. The podcast, yeah. that's not necessarily what we're trying to accomplish. I mean, we'll so give you tips really too. Like uh, yeah. some, something from our experience, but that's right. like our sole mission, like Rachel's mission. Right. That's my mission. That's what I do with my travel business. But for the podcast, you know, like we're not going into the like nitty gritty details of like, this is how you book a lightning lane. This is how you book a resort and decide the difference between value and moderate and deluxe and all those like really, really like basic trip planning stuff. Although I guess if people want that, we could do a, a show on it, but I don't know that that's our overall mission. Like it is for some other podcasts, but that's what I do with, with my travel agency. So if you want that kind of information, that is definitely part of what I do. So definitely reach out. No, we'll, we can definitely do a show like that. And just, you know, we'll interject humor here and there where we, or we can, can go ahead and yeah. do it. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, uh, informational, like, you know, so much has changed. You know, the person's like, yeah, if you don't want to learn about the Disney plan, uh, Disney dining plan, because you already know about it. Uh, this is a podcast for you. That is... That's got to be dated. <laughs> it's dated, <laughs> because, but it, it'll be undated like in a few weeks. <laughs> in a few weeks. That's what I'm saying. Like the new dining plan isn't kicked in yet. But I mean, the point of the matter is, is like, yeah, there are so many podcasts that are just. They're doing that. You know, nuts and bolts of what it is yeah. to go ahead and, and book with Disney. And that's just not what we pride ourselves on. Because as we say at the beginning of every podcast, we're not in the parks every day. But we have a good appreciation of how the system works. Yeah. And I know a lot of those podcasts talk, too, about the challenge of that, that like when they talk about things, they're like immediately obsolete and that they have to be constantly updating and stuff. So um, that definitely keeps them in business. But that's just not kind of what we're doing on a weekly basis. Well, yeah, because the last thing you want to do is to be predictable. Like if if the, if the show was just pretty much. Playing, play, play. There's only so much park and there's only so much area. After a while, when you got to episode, say, 25, the person would be like, yeah, nah, I got it from this part because I already know what to expect. But to this person's point, you're not supposed to know what to expect when you see the show because we all have our different personalities, our different likes. Like, look, Rachel, you are an awesome training, you're a travel person. You know what's going on. You know how to plan it. I have been under your tutelage out there yeah. and I have been totally scared and you guys, I got it. And Most knowledgeable travel agent, travel agent I've ever doing, known in my life. Very calm and you know what's And up. passionate. Very passionate. Yeah. yeah. But like me, like Danny and, and Kevin, everybody else, 
who comes in the studio will test who like like I I like comics. I like action. Like that's what I do. I could not do what you do. But if you say, hey, look, there's a movie review about this and that. How did this link to this character, that character? Yeah. Well, that would be my strong suit. And those are the things that to this person's credit, thank you again, listener who put in this review. That's what makes the show what it is. I told Rachel, I said, when we go to Polynesian, I want to stay in the room that John Lennon stayed in, and Rachel hooked it up for me. Mm. <laughs> I want to, I want to go out there with John Stevens had the bottles in the uh, hot tub. Now, oh, that's a, that's room. the Grand Florian. We'll, we'll make that happen. Yeah, yeah. That with the models. Happen. Yeah, oh, yeah with, oh yeah, bottles included. Don't can you how, book champagne? The age they are at this can you point. book models, Rachel? <laughs> Um, no. no. <laughs> you got time, Rachel. You got time. We got we got time. Just tell the other, you know, we'll can, make it wait, work. Yeah. Can I read this next one? Yeah, absolutely. I want to I want to read this yeah, next one. Yeah, go for one. it. Yeah. Because uh, th- this one's from another heister sister. Heister, another heister sister. Yes. <laughs> the title of this review is Love It. Great show. Danny's my favorite. There you go. You got to love that, right? Well, Come just... on. Danny's my favorite. Like Danny pays for those two guys. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Twenty. If you mention me in a review. You win. In a positive yes. way. Yes. $20 comes your way. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. We just got a 10,000 different <laughs> reviews. That you did all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> And Danny filed for bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom in the pool. is now a bankrupt. Oh, okay. no. It's nice knowing you. <laughs> oh, boy. I saw you that bad, too, but I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to have that. But that is a real review. <laughs> that, that is a real review. That is no, a that's real review. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad to be a favorite. All right. Another one I'm, I'm jumping over to is another five-star review. And I like this one as well, because this is this we kind of base our intro off of this one, if I remember correctly. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. It says, South. it's from Southside White Sox fans. So I guess up in Chicago. Or, All right. I assume Chicago. Maybe they're no White Sox fan elsewhere. But anyway, they title it Great, quote unquote, Mid-Level Disney Podcast. So you read that and you're like, hmm. Mid level, okay, and then you read on. Yeah, to I'm the not sure what that means. Yeah, it yeah. sounds insulting, but it's not. It's not. It's actually really nice because their comments read like this: Unlike the biggest Disney podcast, the Diz, WWE News Today, or Lou, this podcast is not in Florida, and the hosts are not at the parks twenty four seven. The hosts are great. They have been friends for decades and have wonderful stories about going to Disney World and have excellent topics every week. There you go. Nice. It is so refreshing. Like you hear other people trying to diagnose our personalities and whatnot. And to hear somebody that listens to the show one time and just gets it. Like, yeah, we've been lifelong friends. We goof around a lot with one another. Our priority isn't giving you the most up-to-date news. It's to laugh and have fun with one another while recording a show and to see somebody that just kind of gets us right like that that's kind of the reason why we adopted that opening that kevin says every single week which is that we're not in the parks every single day we want you to we want to let people know right off the bat if that's what you're looking for we're this is not who we are we're here to give you our thoughts on disney the good the bad everything in between we're not here to simply polish everything through rose-colored glasses just in order to get your money through this way that way or the other you know it's just not our goal yeah i mean it's, it's like we're not here to spoon feed the information to you guys uh we're here to give you some alternate takes some views and stuff so that you can make your own informed decision as far as what you want to spend your money on mm-hmm. or how you want to spend your money you know right. so i that's one of the things with the podcast is like I, I didn't feel like that other point of view was um being um, talked about enough and so people were just like, oh, we'll just throw money to Disney, throw money to Disney. It's like, mm-hmm. no, wait, wait, slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> Let's think about this first, you know, make good choices. Should you eat at this restaurant? Should you not eat at this restaurant? Should you do the crappy cookie stroll? No, you should not do the crappy. That kind of stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's one of the things that we go into, and, and that's what I love about it. They, I mean, yeah, <clears throat> we don't claim to be like one of those big guys that are able to go to the parks every day, but, man, we will give you a different, a different view than what you may think. And uh, this goes on with this next review that I thought was pretty good along those same lines. Um, this is a five star review from Silk Tongue Nola. Mm. Well, I guess they're from here, but they title it Humorous Yet Informatively Relevant. I like relevancy. Nice. Informatively relevant. Oh, <laughs> I like that. that. Even better relevancy. <laughs> and so the comment goes like this These guys did a great job taking negatives and masking them in a funny way to even laugh at their own miserable situations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir, okay. you just, uh, sir or madam, you just described our weekends. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a lot of truth to that yes. statement. And uh, they go on to say, however, as unfortunate as some of the situations were, 
They were very important to hear for the average family going to Disney. Someone who doesn't have a lot of Disney experience and doesn't know the parks as well as these guys could definitely benefit from some of the watchouts that they describe in the show. A good show for Disney tips and a great show for laughs. Mm. Yeah, so that's where part of the honesty piece comes in. It's like, you know, what can I tell you? You can spend your money on anything and everything, and, it's, and you're going to have a great trip. There's some things you should avoid. As if you listened to our show last week about festival holidays. Mm -hmm. There's some things yeah. you should just avoid. Right? Yes. Don't mm. eat those cookies, guys. Don't eat those cookies. <laughs> or the Linza cookie. That's the only thing. I, that's my take. Yeah, away. that one's good. Linza cookie, yeah. great. <laughs> there used to be, Josh listened to the, the episode this week. We were in the car. And um, he was like, what? You didn't mention the chocolate crinkle cookie. There was a chocolate crinkle cookie that was super good, but it's gone this year. So I was like, that's why I didn't mention it. They got rid of it. So again, don't do the crappy cookie show. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. Linzer is currently the only good one. Um, if you other listeners were out there saying, hey, Rachel, what about the chocolate? I remember the chocolate crinkle. I agree that it was delicious, but it is now retired. Boom. It was too good. For Boom. the cookie stroll. <laughs> and that is why you're going to kick his ass in the Magical Way Super Bowl because you just know. I'm hoping so. <laughs> I'm, you, my Ooh. money's on you. You saw that look on the face, that level of intensity have, showed up. Just right. There's a lot riding on this household. We have some in home wagers happening. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh no. Lord. Now that sounds like a podcast. Yes. <laughs> Episode 505 How the Super Bowl and Roberge's house went. Oh, we. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's one I like, dude, because Austin Davies, 23, <laughs> this, I thought this was great. Now, they must have listened on a show where, this must have been their first time listening, and they listened on a show where Rachel wasn't on because they didn't mention Rachel, but this was uh -huh. from December of this year. It says, absolutely love the dynamic trio of Danny, Eli, and Kevin on this Disney podcast. Their infectious enthusiasm for all things Disney is palpable. That's like a... Palpable. That's like palpable. Yeah. Yes. You don't. Yeah. You're palpable. Well, you taste it. Yeah. <laughs> taste it. We're totally palpable. Yeah. Palpable. Yes. Feel it. Feel it. We are palpable. <laughs> Making each episode a delightful journey through the magic of the parks, movies, and beyond. Ooh. Wee. The chemistry between them creates a perfect blend of humor and insightful commentary, keeping listeners engaged from start to finish. Whether you're a Disney fanatic or a casual fan, this podcast is a must listen for its entertaining blend of nostalgia, updates, and pure joy. Nice. Aww. Wow. Dude, nice. Wow. Really nice. Thanks, man. As the wow. It's as the wow. Walt Every Whitman wrote a <laughs> review. Of the I Magic was going to say. Jeez. Yeah. I like that. I'm Palpatine. A plus. And then on the exact same day, somebody said, Trace Tacos, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What? Love it. All Trace Tacos, what? por favor. That's like three stars, three tacos. No, they I, gave I, us five stars, but three tacos. Yeah, but. I, Listen, right? I like tacos a lot, so. That's. I'll take them. Positivity <laughs> on and whole other. I mean, it must have been like, you know, three tacos Tuesday that day. So well, right off. Every taco is a one and a half star. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe instead of bringing back beignets for donations, we could just bring back tacos. Oh, tacos. Yeah. Wow, give us, give us Everyone, tacos. Who There's does tacos. not love tacos? See, look, and it's that simple, guys. You can write something that simple with five stars, and it's going to be good. Yes. Thank yes. you, Austin. Trace, especially if it's five in the Five stars. Taco. Tacos are awesome. Yes. Moving on. We love tacos. <laughs> Crap, avoid beautiful. the crappy cookie shrill. That's beautiful. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's infectious. So do you want to call it here? I mean, there's like 60 There's plus. like 10 million, yeah. Yeah. But, guys, seriously... Every review helps, and we will go back one day. And we like we read all of these, and we cannot thank y'all guys enough for going ahead and doing this for us. Because I mean, again, we don't ask much. There's not many ads on the Magical Way podcast. There's Eli, there's Rachel, what they do, and we don't inundate you with a ton of ads and ask you to go ahead and do this or that or the other for us. But one good way to support us is with these reviews. And it's free. It doesn't take too much long every time. You can write something as simple as three tacos, por favor. Yes. And that's yeah. it. Five stars. Boom. Done. And you get on the podcast. You know, can I tell you, like, <laughs> I was looking through some of these reviews and there was a lot of people talking about uh, Djibouti. Like, I'm sitting there like, I remember when Djibouti. did we say Djibouti? Like, what what, did we, what were we talking about there? It's not Djibouti. That's the thing. I remember us saying that, but I don't remember why we said Djibouti. I don't either. That but was like, the thing. There was at least two or three reviews that said something about Djibouti versus something else and i'm still trying to find it i'm looking do you, through do you remember that rachel with our Djibouti discussion does that ring a bell? i do i don't remember what it specifically was about but i do remember that being a thing that Djibouti. was like kind of a running joke god i miss Djibouti. i want, I want to know what a Djibouti is about i want to bring back Djibouti. 
You know what? <laughs> one of these days, I'm going to have to go back and start listening to some of these older ones and figure out what the hell we were talking about. Well, Kirk about. might have listened to it, so he might know. He, he goes back and listens to a bunch of them. Well, guys, if y'all know what Djibouti means, yeah, remind us of Djibouti. Cause what I think the hell were we talking about? Let us know. That needs to come back in our lives because that's just too good not to use. Magic our way at gmail.com. At we are Djibouti at gmail.com. Or Djibouti at Djibouti. We'll get it no matter where it comes. Yes. <laughs> Hidden yes. treasure. Send us your Djibouti. No, J- Djibouti or Djibouti. It's in all seriousness, D. love these guys. That was from Shell, 0399. Uh, I listen to several Disney themed podcasts, and this is the one I never try to miss. Great topics with lots of humor, always informative and entertaining. Glad someone else already commented Djibouti because I do not want it to be the Djibouti John. What the hell are we talking about? Don't Wait, know. Djibouti John. Djibouti John. I don't know what That's this almost is. Vegas Thresh Tacos, poor for war. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't care. About. As long as it says five stars, guys, we love you. We talk about treasure yeah. or something. I don't know, but that's that's the thing though. It's like our, our Mohicans can write whatever the heck they want, <laughs> and it's great. It. I gotta find. We got we gotta find. Yeah, Djibouti. yeah. Maybe, Kirk, if you're listening, find, if you remember what Djibouti was, write us in. And Mr. Mangello, if you're listening, I'd love to hear the three podcasts I ruined. <laughs> I would really love to hear those. Oh yeah. boy, Djibouti's in jeopardy now. Jibu- oh, all, all, all the booty. Yes. 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 So cool, guys. Y'all, thank you so much for all your support over the past 500 shows and your continued support going on. Um, like I said, leaving a rating review is just awesome. It helps us. It keeps every, it keeps us in the minds of everybody um, in the Disney fan universe because there's just so many choices now back as opposed to when we first started this thing. So, um, yeah, thank you for your continued support. And if you want to support us in other ways, we're about to tell you how to do that in just a little bit. Djibouti. Djibouti. Well, y'all, uh, happy new year, and we hope you enjoyed that episode of the Magic Ari podcast. Look, if you want to learn more about us, get our social media links, past episodes, and more, you can go to magicari.com. Also, if you want to get in touch with us to share your opinions about the show, you can do so through the following ways. First of all, shoot us an email at show at magicari.com, or you can call or send us a text message, just like JP, at 1 815 Moeekin. That is 1 815. Mo Weekend. 669-4226. Huh. And of course, we have a couple people who do things outside of the podcast. First of all, we got Eli does things with comics. What's up, E and your geishas? Moo. No massage. Ah, vocalization. No massage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I, I've appreciated everyone who has supported uh, the website for this uh, past year. Of course, you know that by visiting ivorycomics.com and seeing the work that I've produced that is at least 40 some pages fully colored. The Boom. only ad for it is for this podcast and that's how it works. I don't have any other backing. So yeah, that that's all out the pocket, fresh out the pocket, corner pocket. So you can see the work I have project Geisha savages and the Bali be damned. And there's always blog posts and there's, you know, there's interviews. And of course there's a link to the magic highway podcast. So you, Never miss an episode. So please, as always, uh, support us in all those manners possible. IvoryComics.com. Boom. On social media, I'm right there. Uh, not as much as on the Ivory Comics website because I got to draw all the books and, you know, it's it's a good bit. But you can find me there on Facebook, Eli H. Ivory. And you know how it goes. As long as you're a real person, it's always lovely to meet you. But if you're a bot, I do not need to greet you. But these bots are coming up with some really nice pictures. I I, I have to say, like, you know, <laughs> these are some cold times for your boy right here. They they almost caught me. Oh, no. I had one one that sent me was called Karen Karen. Almost clicked accept. Oh, boy, that was tough. But I fought through it. Fought through it. But, uh, yes, Eli H. Ivy is where you can find me there. Of course, also on Facebook, Project Geisha has a fan page. And so you go to Facebook.com slash Project Geisha. You'll find that there. Instagram, also there, posting up hearts and likes and uh, stories when I can. You can find me right there through EIV504. And, of course, on X, I can be found at Hancock10166. So, again, appreciate all the love and the support because – all that madness is just bringing me to gladness and uh, look forward to hearing from you guys next year. Thank you. And if you want to book a vacation sometime for 2024, you can do it with Rachel. Rachel, tell me how to do this. Yeah, I would love to help your family plan a 2024 trip. 
or even 2025. A lot of cruise lines are open for 2025. So please reach out. You can find me at rachel at magicrway.com. That's R-A-C-H-E-L. I would be honored to help you plan a trip. And if you're looking for that kind of day by day, you know, hour by hour, how do we travel around the parks? That is what I do. So I'm happy to help you out as much or as little as you want with your trip planning. And everything is free to you. And a little bit of the cost of your trip comes back and helps support this podcast when you book with me. So again, you can find me at Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L at magicrway.com. And you can also find me on social media. I'm at our family magic. That's the letter R and family magic, all one word on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and a little bit on TikTok. So find me there as well. If any of that is like a lot to do, you can just call or text me. My phone number is 978-432-WISH. And let me know that you are a fan of the podcast and I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much. So if y'all want to access all the info we just mentioned, go to magicrway.com forward slash about us. Also, if you want to elevate your support of the Magic Way podcast, go to patreon.com forward slash Magic Way. There you'll find six awesome tiers to support this show. And any way in which you can support the show is deeply appreciated. Especially leaving a review. Yes, leave a rating or review wherever you access podcasts. And look, for our Patreon supporters over the past year, 2023, I just want to give a shout out to Gene H., uh, Mr. Potato Ed, Brian C, Harry, Grub, Eric, Kirk, yeah, and Kyle S. Man, thank you for supporting 2023. We hope it continues. And I know there's some things that we owe you, and uh, we thought Patreon was going to take care of that. We'll we'll handle all the rest of that. Yeah, Patreon kind of messed year. us over on this one. We thought that they were supposed to send out things, and that just did it just didn't happen. happen. Yeah, yeah, but we're we're going to take care of that yes. within the first sorry weeks about that. of uh, 2024 for sure. So thank you for support and your continued support. We definitely appreciate it. And look, thank you for being a loyal listener. And we always love hearing from you guys. All opinions are always welcome on the Magic Army Podcast. So make sure you get in touch with us today. Some weekends. Happy New Year. We say Quaharini. My name is Kevin. And I'm Mr. Buzzkill. Magic out. <laughs> <laughs>